recently we came to know about uh, this uh, free plan offered by Atlassian for Jira Cloud. And I was uh, really excited about uh, this uh, announcement that uh, Jira can now be used for free. Earlier, they had uh, a 10 user starter license, which was actually not really bad. Uh, I mean, of course, if you want to use Jira for 10 users and you want to use it in your company, then I think uh, paying $10 is not really a big deal. But still, it was uh, some amount of money and uh, uh, it can be a bit difficult for everyone to pay $10, which I understand. So I'm sure there is a reason why Atlassian decided to make this uh, free plan. And if you go to this Atlassian website where you try to evaluate uh, Jira software, for example, you have a few options here. Like for example, you can uh, uh, take a look at their plans based on uh, number of users. So we have a free plan, which is of course uh, for 10 users. And, and they, are, they have of course other plans for uh, standard and premium users. And it really depends on number of users that that you want to have in your Jira instance. So it is always good to have more options when you are uh, trying to use uh, Jira on cloud. And nowadays, a lot of companies, a lot of organizations are moving towards cloud. So in this video, I actually wanted to uh, give my feedback, my opinion, and what I think about this free plan. So you may be using uh, Jira for uh, up to 10 users and uh, maybe you are happy with it, but is the free plan uh, good enough? And I was actually looking for uh, different features that this free plan uh, can offer. And if you look at this comparison table, apart from the advanced permissions, uh, I think uh, there is no such thing that you really need, at least for 10 users. For example, if you look at this uh, list of uh, features, they are talking about Scrum and Kanban boards, backlog, agile reporting, customizable workflows, roadmaps, apps and integrations. So your uh, uh, add-ons are, stipl are still applicable. You can always add more add-ons. Of course, uh, add-ons or apps, they have their own pricing. Uh, there are things like uh, anonymous access and audit logs and most importantly, advanced permissions. So this advanced permission is not there. And I wanted to know whether this will really impact uh, the usage of the tool for 10 users. So we have to keep this mind, uh, uh, keep this in mind about the number of users who will be using uh, Jira. So if you click on advanced users, it says that permissions in Jira software control whether users can create new projects to uh, what users can do, see, and comment on within our project or issues or issue. So I believe they're talking about permission scheme and issue security scheme. The free plan does not allow permission settings for projects or issues. So it seems like the permission scheme and the security levels will not be there. So I was, of course, playing with Jira and I'll uh, show you how it looks like. Let me in the meantime also take a look at uh, Jira service desk. So if you click on Jira service desk, uh, uh, they of course have uh, a similar pricing. So they have three options to choose from. So you can use Jira service desk for up to three agents, which is quite good. And if you look at the list of features, they have almost everything, but uh, uh, I'm sure uh, 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 they don't really have uh, permissions permission scheme. So if you search for the permission here, you don't have any mention of permission when you're looking at a Jira service desk pricing option. Uh, but we'll take a look at the instance. We'll uh, log into our uh, we'll log into our Jira instance, which is actually a free version of Jira. So let me first uh, start with uh, a classic software project. So if you go to a project which is of type uh, Jira software, uh, you can always go to the project settings. So let us click on project settings. And uh, uh, the first thing that I'll probably take a look at is the people uh, link on the left hand side uh, under the project sidebar. So it says that uh, uh, project roles are not 
configurable on Jira software free plan. So we don't have uh, roles uh, where you can have multiple roles and where you can have basically people added to those roles. And I'm sure we can not really add more roles in our Jira instance if we are using Jira for free. We'll uh, take a look at it very quickly. Uh, we'll also take a look at the permissions. Can we set permissions? So I'm looking at the permission scheme and I do have a lot of permissions. But if I go to the actions on top, I have the option to edit permissions. Uh, but it will not allow me to uh, change the permissions. So it will give me this message that permissions are not editable on the free plan. Let us take a look at uh, the, uh, the, the security levels. So let me just uh, go back to my uh, project uh, very quickly and uh, I'll uh, take a look at the permission, uh, the security levels. Can I, can I create a new security level or not? So I need to go to the project settings once again. So if you go to your project sidebar, you have uh, permissions which we can't edit. Uh, we also have issue security. So I believe issue security is also not possible. But it says select a scheme. So can I change the security? So it will give me the, it, it is actually allow, uh, giving me this option to associate a security level. Uh, and I need to, uh, it is basically asking me to add a new issued security scheme, which I will do. Um, so let us see if we can do that on free plan. So I'll just add something like uh, only project developers. I'll add a new security scheme and then I'll probably set some security levels. Let us see if we can do that. So I want to add a security level, but I don't really have an option here. So on this page, you can create and delete the issue security levels for the only project developers, but uh, there is no option here. So I believe this option will come when uh, we have a paid plan. Let me try to go to the Jira settings. And if I go to the, I'm actually under the issue security scheme, but I don't really have the option to make a change to, uh, to the security level. Uh, I mean, I want to basically add different levels where you can have uh, different groups that you can add here. Based on the security level, they will get the right access of the issue. Uh, so there is an option here, which is fine. But I just want to see if I go back to the project, can I, can I uh, change the security level? Because it's a bit confusing because uh, uh, when you're working on Jira and you know that you can set security levels, but uh, <coughs> I'm sure you are using a free plan and that is why this feature is not available. But I believe uh, if the feature is not there, you should have, I think it is always good to have that message on top somewhere, uh, just like the people and the permission scheme uh, that, you know, you are using a free plan. Uh, we cannot allow you to change the security uh, scheme or add a new level. So I'm just trying to change the security scheme. So it is actually asking me, uh, it, it is actually allowing, allowing me to change the security scheme, but because we don't really have any security level, so it won't really make a difference, which is fine. Uh, it is what uh, they mentioned on the pricing, uh, uh, pricing page. So this is the uh, Jira software. Let me just take a look at the roles. Can I add a new role? Because uh, these roles will not really have uh, any usage. Uh, so let me add a role like maybe oh, there is already a developer. Maybe I'll add a tester. Uh, so I'll add a new role. So I can add a new role, but uh, I will not have an option to use it in the permission scheme at least and also the security level uh, because we can't really modify them. So this is fine. Uh, let us also take a look at uh, Jira service desk uh, based project. Can we change the permission there or not? Because there is no such mention of permissions uh, on the pricing uh, page. So let me go to the service test uh, based, based project. 
and I'll go to the project settings directly and uh, let me take a look if I can uh, modify something here. So, so, so I'll quickly jump to the people section here. Uh, so I can add people which is I believe fine because uh, um, I because we're working on uh, Jira service test project and we need to do to define uh, my agents which so I can't really add anyone to developer but I'm guessing I should be able to add someone to my service test team so I cannot really add people here service desk uh, I need to I, I think I need to first select a user so let me first select uh, uh, my name can I add myself as a developer I can add my uh, add myself as a developer I believe or maybe a new user so let me also add this time let me try uh, maybe a group of users so Jira, Jira core users or maybe Jira service desk users I just want to add them to service desk team so okay so we are we, we are able to uh, add people to uh, the service desk team but I just wanted to also add them to developer role so I believe this is working a bit differently in uh, Jira service desk uh, we can use the people section here uh, we can modify the roles but I think uh, when you are even if you add people to these roles they're not really of any use because uh, the way you define the permissions is through the permission scheme for these roles but I believe if you add people to the project uh, role called service desk uh, I believe in that case uh, these people will have uh, the agent rights uh, so this is something that uh, I understand but I think uh, maybe a bit more information on the top maybe you know some kind of a message uh, would have been nice let me also take a look at the um, permission schemes let us go to the permission schemes and uh, I just want to see if I can modify a permission so let me edit the permission uh, so I can add a permission uh, I, I can modify permission in uh, in Jira service desk which is good to know uh, 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 it is not really mentioned on the website that you cannot uh, modify the permission so I'm guessing you can uh, modi modify the permissions on Jira service test space projects which is good I'll probably you know keep testing it and I'll probably let you know but it seems like you can modify the permissions on Jira service test uh, let me also just quickly go back to the uh, same project and I just want to uh, or maybe this time I'll open a different project and I want to take a look at the security level uh, we have a security level no we don't have a security level we have a security uh, scheme but uh, there is no level in it so there is no point changing it but uh, um, we were able to change it uh, in the Jira software based project where even if you change it it won't really make a difference because there is no level defined so I think uh, the way uh, the, the pricing works is a bit different for Jira service test you can modify permissions and uh, there is no mention of uh, permission on this uh, on this page but it is definitely mentioned on uh, the uh, page where you select the price for uh, or you select the users for Jira software so this is just uh, just a quick uh, check that I wanted to do on uh, the pricing especially the free plan of uh, Jira Jira software and of course Jira service desk it is always good to have a free version a completely free version without paying any money you can use uh, Jira uh, with its full capability I would say almost full capability and I think uh, uh, the, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to show you uh, whether this uh, permission this inability of uh, uh, modification of permissions on Jira software will have an impact on the usage of the tool well in my opinion for 10 users I'm sure if you're using Jira for 10 users for a small company it is good to have permissions but I think you can probably live without I mean of course there are permissions uh, it's not that you don't really have a permission scheme you do have a permission scheme uh, which is kind of like built in but you can't modify it but on Jira service desk I believe you can 
and uh, I believe uh, uh, this is a slight difference when it comes to the free version of Jira software and Jira service desk. So I think uh, definitely you can uh, use Jira software and Jira service desk uh, without paying and uh, the free version is I believe good enough. So I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned something new today. Thank you very much.